HEADING BACK TO DAYBREAK NOW, LAWMAKERS IN THE STATE HOUSE AND SENATE ARE TRYING TO WORK OUT DIFFERENCES IN A SET OF BILLS. THEY WOULD HELP SUPPORT MAJOR ECONOMIC DEVELOPMENT PROJECTS IN MICHIGAN. AND THEY PASSED THE STATE SENATE LAST WEEK. WE HAVE THE MANAGING EDITOR FOR MI BIZ, ANDY BELASKEVITZ, JOINING US NOW. Uh, GOOD MORNING. Good morning. What is in these bills? Why have they come together so quickly? We don't often or always see our lawmakers able to work so quickly in Lansing. Right. Uh, so really, if you go back to uh, October, if you remember, uh, Ford uh, made that announcement for about $11 billion in, in electric vehicle assembly and battery uh, plants they're, they're doing down in Kentucky and Tennessee. And, and that really was just a wake up call uh, for lawmakers and economic development officials in Michigan. And so, you know, over the past two months, they've, they've really been scrambling uh, to sort of put these ideas in, in motion. And, and so what happened uh, over the past week in Lansing, we saw the House and the Senate both pass their own versions of, of these economic development uh, incentive bills that would, would create some funds. Um, really, th their goal is to have Michigan sort of offer the same, if not better, uh, types of incentives for these projects uh, that are going to other states. Um, what questions are there still about where the money's coming from for this? Yeah, so um, it is still uncertain whether they're going to use uh, leftover fed federal stimulus funding um, or the state has some, some uh, excess tax revenue. Um, and so, so that's a little bit unclear yet. And, you know, so, some of the, you know, the specifics on, on how this is going to work exactly are, are still yet to be determined. But, but overall, there's, there's sort of broad agreement uh, between uh, the House and Senate and the Whitmer administration, or, or Governor Whitmer, rather, is, is expected to sign the bills. Now you can read about how quickly this will all come together, um, how quickly the businesses will start being able to make those plans right now in MI Biz. Thank you, Andy. Thank you.